<laughs> What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Founder K and today I'm bringing you guys a video on the new builds for season six for specifically the Warriors because of the update to the hammer tree and stuff like that. Stuff like Blackthorn, um, Runeforged and all the all the new updates over there. Um the builds are a little bit different now. Um you can kind of mess around with some other stuff. There's a lot of viable things you can go, so I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about that. There's gonna be a few different types of builds. There's gonna be the ability base warrior builds and there's gonna be the auto attack warrior builds and then kind of like the in-between or gods that you can go pretty much either on um so let's get right into it i'm gonna go ahead and click achilles and go over the ability base warrior build um as far as like blackthorn is concerned so there's a couple different options because warrior's blessing is another item that also got uh buffed headed into season six so that's something that you're going to be seeing a little bit more so you have a couple different options options like i said you can go warrior's blessing and just go uh, your classic chalice you could even start with tier one boots and just rush into boots or you can just go a couple extra pots see maybe you'll be fighting a lot or um, fighting over the totem a little bit more um, and it, you could be against a more aggressive god now because people are playing a little bit more uh, pressure so those extra pots could help and then like i said the couple different options that you have are you can rush straight into blackthorn blackthorn's a pretty good item now it's definitely a good bridge item it's only 2000 gold 35 physical power so basically the amount that boots would give you 450 health that's the really big thing that's a ton of health and it's gonna allow you to build a little bit more protections and utility and not so much health in the rest of your build if that makes sense because you're getting so much health from this one item alone that um, you can forego some health on your other items now, the 200 mana is really nice as well and then the passive of course is really good with the 10 percent cdr so you basically always have 10 percent cdr after getting this item especially because the mp5 is really good on it if you get below 25% it's 50 mp5 and then you also have blue buff and warrior's blessing is a lot of mana sustain as well um, So uh, warrior's blessing is definitely viable now. It is not the end-all be-all. You're not gonna be building it every single game um, in my opinion um, So it's just a viable option now So you can rush the blackthorn and then you would go into your normal boots. You can either go warrior tab I hear Teleria boots or reinforced greaves I usually go either Teleria or Warrior Tabai. It kind of depends. If I'm in a matchup where we're going to be fighting a lot and I need that physical power, then I would be going the Warrior Tabai. If not, and I feel like I'm going to be rotating a little bit more and trying to, you know, back more and kind of just get my spikes and kind of rotate around the map and make an impact, then I'm going to be going Teleria Boots in. Part of the reason you can do this is because you're getting so much power from this item, 35 physical power, um, and some of the other items that you're going to buy along the, the tree that um, you can kind of get away with going a little bit more utility here. And you're never going to run out of uh, mana with this, so... Um, that is an option. Let's just stick for to Warrior Tabai for now. Um, and on gods that do a lot of damage, like Achilles, these ability-based warriors, Achilles, Wukong, stuff like that, I like to go into Void Shield as my third item. Um, gives me that uh, base physical protection that we want to that we want to get right away. Keep in mind that you're getting 15 from Warrior's Blessing once you get fully a stack. So the effective health you're getting from Warrior's Blessing plus Blackthorn is really nice. But you need to get to the the physical defense as soon as possible, especially if you're against a physical. If you're against a magical, then you can go something like Runic Shield here. Uh, basically just a bruiser item that's going to give you more damage because we talked about it a lot last season bruiser items are a lot better when um full tank items you just get shredded and stuff like that so you should have some other form of utility or usefulness and damage is definitely helpful for that so either way they're both both basically the same thing runic shield and void shield um this one reduces their magical power and then void shield reduces their protection so you get extra damage um, but both are really good and um, both provide basically the same thing as far as doing more damage and also getting a little bit tankier. Then we're gonna, go, gonna be going into Urchin, our fourth item. Urchin's still really good, um, consistent with last season. Definitely an item that you wanna get earlier on if you can afford it, um, just because you get the stacks quicker is really nice. And then if you need to start worrying about their magical uh, damage, um, they, they, maybe they have double guardian plus a mat, uh, mage, or maybe they just have like a magical jungler, or you know it's just a standard team comp they have, but their mage is really focusing you out, or they're focusing you out in the team fights and they're doing a lot of damage. Then Oni's is really good, um, and then we can ride it off with the spirit robe. So you still definitely like those damage mitigation items because, like I said before, base protection and health get shredded really easily with all the uh, tank shredding items and effective or um, health percentage items and stuff like that as far as damage goes. Um, so. You the utility you get from damage mitigation is still going to be really good. And even with this build, because this gives you so much health, Blackthorn, you still have 3,125 health, plus all this protection, 197, 178. Once you have your Urchin fully stacked, you get a little bit more health as far as a shield goes, and then a little bit more protection. So this is pretty much your standard build for your ability-based warriors right now. This includes like um, includes like Achilles, includes Wukong, who's, it could be even Hercules. You can got, kind of go a different build right now, but Ama definitely good with this build. 
Um, you can maybe switch some items out here and there. You're sitting at 20% CDR with this, so not too bad. Um, and you just like the utility from a lot of these items. You can mix it up. You can go Breastplate instead of Void Shield here. I just prefer, prefer Void Shield just because it's a ton of damage. It allows you to hit really hard. Uh, Magi's is still a really good option. Um, and another item that I think you'll be seeing more of is Gauntlet of Thebes because it got buffed in its health. This is the single most effective health item in the game. Above Urchin. It gives you 60 protect protections of each and then um, 275 health. However, if you do have the shield on Urchin, you get a little bit more effective health from that, but um, still a really good item. And once you buy this, you're going to be looking to buy Gauntlet of Thebes a little bit later on around Oni Hunters is where you buy it. Um, it's at the point in the game where you're going to be around your team a little bit more, so you're going to be able to get those stacks a lot easier. And um, if the worst comes to worst, you can just let the waves kill each other and you can get the stacks for it. But definitely really good for um, getting a lot of effective health. Only problem is it doesn't really have a lot of utility in the way of damage mitigation or just like uh, a, a really nice passive that's going to help you survive, such as like Wingblade or something. And we'll go, go ahead and throw Wingblade in here as well because I think Wingblade is a really underrated item um, right now just because... With how easy it is to die uh, through tank shredding items, Wingblade helps a lot in the far as far as like the utility you get from it, the CCR, the movement speed, and the really nice passive that gets you out of slows and everything. So um, you could also possibly even go this build on like King Arthur or something like that. Um, only um, difference I think that you would go in this build is something like Glad Shield, and you can go Glad Shield on a lot of these other characters. But the only problem is that um, Anti Heal is a big counter to Glad Shield or right, whatever. Shut up, servers. Um, anti heals are like a really big counter to Glad Shield, and basically you lose an entire item here if um, you if the enemy jungler has like a brawlers or something like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go on to the auto attack warriors. Just click on Bologna. So oh, the only difference that I want to say about that last build, I said there were basically two options: is you can either rush Blackthorn Hammer, or you can go Warriors uh, Blessing and then go into your your Blackthorn Hammer, or you can just go Boots first and then your Blackthorn Hammer. So, definitely an option there. Then you can also always go the third item, Glad Shield. And one good thing about Glad Shield plus Blackthorn Hammer, even though you're not getting a ton of uh, protections from either of these, is that the heal that you get from Glad Shield is a percentage health. So the extra health that you get from Blackthorn Hammer, 450, is going to be increasing your Glad Shield heals by a lot. So this is basically like another option for your first three items. And then also, like I said, you can just straight up go tier two. Blackthorn Hammer, which is Shalele or whatever it's called, and then just go four health pots. You can't afford a Chalice with this, but then you rush your Blackthorn Hammer and basically do everything the same as far as the build goes. Um, something you can do with this build as well is at, on your first back, since uh, Blackthorn Hammer is only 700 gold, if it will let me do it. So it's 1300 for the tier two, and it's only 700 for, for the full Blackthorn Hammer. You can back with like 1,050 gold and then get Chalice plus a ward, and that's a really good uh, power spike to get there. So. Those are the options you really have, and you can also just straight up go boots um, if you'd like to do that. Blackthorn isn't a nece uh, necessity, however, I do like it a lot, and you can try it out in your warrior builds, and I think you'll like it as well. Um, if you don't like it though, you can straight up just go the normal build path with boots and just forego Blackthorn Hammer and go pretty much the same build um, and a, a glad shield if you'd like. So now for auto attack warriors, pretty similar build to be honest. You can also just go Warrior's Blessing into the item that you're going to rush, which is Berserker Shield. Um, these two items is going to make it really, really hard to fight into you. Um, you're going to have a ton of uh, not only sustain and lane, but also just really cheap items that give you a lot of uh, uh, utility as far as sustain, um, damage mitigation, and uh, fight potential with the attack speed and everything. So you can do that and just go straight up into your Berserker Shield, and then you go into your, the rest of your build, your normal build, which is on Bologna would be Ninja Tabai, but on the other characters it's Warrior Tabai. Um, but pretty much the same thing, Void Shield into Urchin. Specifically on Auto Attack Warriors, you don't really need to build any CDR at all. So if you need to start worrying about their magical damage, you could go Onis here. You can also um, afford to go some of these other items like uh, Pestilence if you need to. Uh, even Talisman of Energy I really like, especially on like Auto Attack Warriors. Um, and then you can round out the build with the Spirit Robe. Or even more damage if you feel like you're tanky enough here. Uh, maybe you're not getting focused on focused out in the team fights and you're playing a ranked game and you feel like you can carry a little bit more brawlers is a really good item even on auto attack warriors it just provides a lot of damage you can also go something like uh kin size um especially on these auto attack warriors that have really good hit chains like osiris it's going to provide a lot of damage um that way or you could just go straight up a utility item like wing blade or something like that but a lot of the time spirit robe is the way to go um 
And then late game, you can sell your Berserker's Shield for maybe a damage item if you didn't go in in that last slot there. Or you could sell it for another utility item or something. It's just going to help you uh, be a little bit more t a little bit more tanky. Um, something like Wing Blade is probably what I would go here if I went Spirit Robe here. And that would be the build rounded out. Uh, pretty similar to the last build. Same amount of protections and help, basically. Uh, good utility. Um, a little bit less damage mitigation if you don't go Onis. But it's basically the same deal. Um, the only problem with Warriors is they still drop off really hard late game no matter really what you build. If you build a lot more damage, you're going to be really easy to kill. If you build a really, really tanky, you're not going to provide enough damage or utility as like a Guardian would. Um, you're still going to be pretty easy to kill because of the existence of tank shredding items. But uh, this is pretty much a normal build on Bologna. Selling your Berserker Shield. You could also sell your Blackthorn similar to your Blackthorn similar to this build where you sell your Berserkers for another item. Um, really late into the game, maybe the passive on Blackthorn isn't really helping you too much. Uh, the base stats aren't as good, even though 450 health is pretty much good all game. Um, you could sell that out for another like really luxury item if you if you would like, and even, maybe even a, da a damage item, like a sh true damage item. Um, so that would be the build, and then uh, you, you have a bunch of different options like mid guardian, especially, especially on like auto attack warriors. They're going to be diving their ADCs. Like mid guardian is going to be definitely uh, an option. Um, Need me is still an option. Spectral I think is even good now. Um, after the buff, you could go that if they're building crit. Maybe they have double crit, Mercury Jungle, or something like that. Uh, but Nemean is still definitely good for that. And then, um, you know, Magi's and stuff like that is always going to be an option, just like one of those utility defense items. But um, So that would be pretty much the normal build for auto attack warriors as well. Um, something I do want to talk about, though, is the existence of the, uh, the 2k speed pot cost 2,000 gold and you could sell your boots for it. So that changes the build a little bit. A lot of times you're not getting to that stage of the game. You're usually getting your 3k pop before that. Um, you're upgrading your axes and stuff like that. And most games are going to be ending before that. However, if it does get to that point in the game and you can sell your boots, basically you're replacing that the, the boots item either with a big damage luxury item, such as like kin size brawlers, like maybe even like Hasten Katana or something like that, just to chase them down really hard. Or you're replacing it with a really good utility defense item, something like Spirit Robe if you didn't buy that before, or something like uh, just like utility item like Witchblade, something that isn't straight up protections, but it just provides maybe an aura to your team, an aura to the enemy team to debuff them or something like that. Um, so you can basically replace it with whatever, whatever you want, whatever you're feeling in that game. You have to get a, like a feel for the game. If you're getting focused out a lot, then maybe a damage, uh, not damage, a defensive utility item. Um, if you feel like you're able to do whatever you want in the team fights and stuff like that, then maybe just go uh, damage items so that you can get on their back line a lot easier. Um, so basically, if you go Blackthorn or Berserkers on each god, late, late game, you have the option to sell two of your items and get two luxury items. So whatever luxury item that you really want, like I said, stuff like Wingblade if you don't have it, Magi's, Brawlers if you're going for damage, um, even stuff like Witchblade or Midguardian, that's just really good utility and it's passive. Um, can help you out at that so yeah definitely important most games like i said aren't going to that point so not that big of a deal but if it does get there just make sure that you realize that um whether you need to go more damage because you can do whatever you want in the back line or more defense so that you can uh you know survive more in the middle of a team fight um so yeah that's pretty much it um not too much change in the bills just a little bit update to the hammer tree um, some nice changes there and of course the starter warriors blessing you can also still go guardians blessing on warriors i think guardians blessing is more just like an option now it's just something that if you're more comfortable with it or you're playing a god that isn't going to be last hitting in the early game or maybe getting pushed under their tower a little bit more like uh the guardians or maybe some mages then you can go it there but you can also still go it on your warriors and just make sure you don't last hit so but it's basically the same build either way so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something if you have any questions feel free to comment below and I'll try to respond to all of you as best as I can. And I hope you guys are enjoying season six. Definitely gonna be more videos, including builds, guides, and uh, stuff about the totem, I guess, um, in the future. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.